So here we are, it's Friday. This is a farm vlog number 237. Uh, we're really busy today. We've got all kinds of stuff going on. We're gonna try to do a little shooting as we do it. Uh, we're so busy, we had to bring in all of our help. Right over here, I have uh, a, a new uh, helper today. Jessa, you have anything to say to the camera? You wanna say anything? Nothing to say there, but anyways, we're going to be filling the place up and plowing some ground, and we'll let you guys in on all of it. Hope to see you this weekend. We got a lot of cool stuff. Watch your step. Thank you. That's how it goes. A few more thousand trips today and we'll have it. So here we are, we're rolling. We got a full truckload. <laughs> I got these two guys. All right, here we are. We just got up to the stand out of the number five production facility and coming out, coming in right here. Premium zinnias here. First, Let me tell you, right now, these are the best we've had. First of the year. First of the year zinnias. And uh, we got this here. What's this? This is unheard of, folks. Totally unheard of. A mum pan with all kinds of herbs. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> And there it is, the first of the year, Zinnias. Uh, this is Zesty that we're growing in these 8-inch mum pans and then a Preciosa Zinnia in the 306 flats. $8.99, 3 for 25 the flats are 25 We have deals at a dozen. Come on down, check it out. Hello, everyone. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Comment down below what you would like to see in the future and share it so all your friends can see. Thank you. Over here we have Grandma Beth, and what is she working on? Let's take a look. Salsa. It's here at the Cold Spring Brook Farm Salsa. We've been waiting all winter to get our labels. We finally got them. We're pressing them on today. Come on down. Try them out. They're awesome. So like I said, we're ripping ground today. Got a couple acres done already. What do you guys think? Pretty cool. And what do we have in here? That's right, marigolds. They're coming out too. First of the year. Come on down. It might be a little cold to plant them outside, but you can certainly get your hands on some. Maybe make up some planters or something like that. We've got plenty here. We've got more plantings coming. And just to give you a sneak peek to Mother's Day, we got a whole bunch of these big number 12 baskets full of geraniums and million bells, all kinds of cool stuff getting ready. Mother's Day is just a couple weeks away. Here's another one of our lower greenhouses, just about entirely full. Stuff is all targeted for that mid-May period. It's all starting to look good, fill out. Hanging back there on that lower line are strawberries, and uh, I think they need another week or, or two, and, and we'll start having those out for sale too. They should bear a lot of fruit. You'll grow them right in that hanging basket. You'll get fruit all summer long. And just below them on the ground, everybody is asking, you got plenty of tomatoes? Are you going to have a lot of tomatoes this year? Well, yeah, we've got a ton of tomatoes. we got tomatoes here, and we have more tomatoes here. Well, yeah, and these are all tomatoes. They were just transplanted. Two weeks, they'll be ready. And over here, there's more tomatoes. And then in here, we have a whole bunch more tomatoes ready to be transplanted. And tomatoes. And heirloom tomatoes. 
and a bunch of tomatoes down there and more tomatoes and then down here we have our greenhouse tomatoes and these guys will start picking in June up above we have a bunch of hanging tomatoes these will be sold uh, they're three four weeks away all along with sides our patio tomatoes so yeah we should have plenty of tomatoes this is our Vinca house there's also some Cosmos and some Zinnias down the end. That's Amy working away. It's about 100 degrees in there. Here we have our resident lanky uh, coffee and cigarette time, it looks like. What did, yeah. what did you say? A string. You need a string? Yeah. What do you got there? A kite. Oh, kites. So we're taking another quick ride out to the fields. We showed you some uh, plow work being done earlier and we'll just uh, check in on the progress and then also show you another machine that's that's working the other side of the farm. Just as we drive by, I don't know if you can see out this window, but that's garlic planted in the distance uh, with, uh, with the straw beds. So that's up really nice. If you're growing garlic at home, you should be fertilizing uh, every two weeks right now, just top dressing it. Anyway, so we're coming up here to the top of this hill, and you can see there's all that plow work that's been done today. Way in the back there, you can see a man on the tractor. And then over on this side of the farm, Steve is riffing with the disc harrow. This field, this is one of our driest pieces, so we're going to go right in here uh, with a bunch of mixed greens, hopefully tomorrow. But there you can see that disc arrow just ripping it, ripping it up and smoothing it out. So we've been kind of working on this vlog all day. It's vlog number 1,427. Uh, and we're pretty much uh, all set up in the stand for the rest of the day and, and uh, to start tomorrow. Uh, I'm just going to take you for a walk around and show you all the stuff. So every day we're just kind of bringing out more and more vegetable sets. The selection continues to expand. And the same thing with all of the flowers and annuals. Expanding collection. Got some strawberry plants this year. Here, this guy, just all these guys came out today. This is our perennial wagon. And there's a whole assortment of stuff. A lot of the stuff is good to go right now. Look at these delphiniums. Super vigorous. Look at how tough they are. Starting to show a little bit of color. More veggie sets. We've got tons of these herb uh, mun pans. If you buy three, you get one for free. Also a lot of bowls. Parsley. You can walk into the lean-to. 
pansy hangers, they're 2095, but three for 50. And we're also doing all of our spring bowls, like these wine cooler bowls. They're all three for 50. Still have a little bit of creeping clocks left. We've read out these mixed herb bowls today. Here's those marigolds that you maybe saw us carrying. Here's a bunch more of these spring bowls that we're, we're featuring. All three for 50. You'll have a ton of color on your front porch. Look at all these nice verbenas that are really popping. Flocks. Get a whole bunch more spring bowls over here. We have a few things left over from Easter. We're doing tulips and uh, hyacinths, four bucks each. Hydrangeas are ten bucks. The little tete -tete are two fifty. We're just blowing those out. They still have a lot of nice color. circle back around one more time. We even dragged out this old trailer. Missing a tire, but it'll be fixed later today. And we got some snaps on here. They're just budding up. They'll be opening soon. They should be really tough and ready to go. A few more pansies. If you're looking for flats of pansies, we're just about done. Uh, we've got a few flats. I have a feeling after this weekend there's going to be very little left. So, anyways, I hope you uh, enjoy the vlog. It's fun making these. It's a little bit of extra work, but we get to kind of play around with it. And hopefully we'll see you this weekend and all the future weekends to come. Thanks. So anyways, it's the end of the vlog. Do you have anything to uh, to say for yourself there? There you have it. I thought I would put an addendum on today's vlog. Uh, it's about 20 past 7. And I'm out here at uh, 3155. I figured I'd rip up a little bit of ground before it got dark. I have a, a companion with me here. Not really the finest vintage. It's, uh, questionable, but it does work. Anyways, I'll start ripping up some ground, and then I'm going to go home and put together the vlog. I hope everybody had a great day, and we look forward to seeing you down here at the farm. This is the second addendum to the vlog. It's now around 8.45 and out here in our kitchen greenhouse, I found one of my number ones taking care of little plant. This is Lily Goose. Lily, you have anything to say to all of the people out there? I planted my, my plant that I call little plant. Little plant. There you have it, folks. Have a good night.